I've smoked this, uh, this old lad for a while, which is the master pipe, which Tony kindly gave me a while back. It comes in a lovely box and a, and, um, a little bag that it goes in. It's a lovely pipe. It's not a pipe. It's not got very thick walls and it's quite light, but it's pretty strong. It smokes lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely billiard. Very nice pipe. Well, I think it's a billiard. Yeah, we'll call it a billiard. It's a lovely pipe. I smoke it all day with no effort at all. Fits the mouth perfectly. It was with me anyway. And tonight I'm smoking some Peterson's Nightcap, which used to be made by Dunhill a long time ago. Well, not that long ago. I think. Um, about 2017, 18, 19, something like that. The Dunhill stopped making it, which was a great shame to a lot of people. You say this is the same recipe, and this is uh, put together by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. It's quite a delicious tobacco, really. It's very nice. It's Latakia, Orient Leaf, and Perique. Now. Some sites say it's got Virginia in, but according to the according to the um, tin itself, it doesn't mention that at all, front and back. I find me light. It just says it's Latakia or Orient tobacco with a, with small leaves of Perique mixed put, and that's it. Made in Denmark. Doesn't mention anything about. Virginia. Same on the front. You don't really detect any Virginia, although it's difficult to detect Virginia when you're smoking stronger things. Latakia, Orient and Perique. That's all it says. So, I suppose the guys who put it together should know what's in it. And it's quite a luscious, almost plummy triad of tobaccos they come together nicely. I don't think there's as much perique in as there is the the oriental, the orient leaf as they call it and the and the, and the latakia or the latakia and the oriental are up there right in the position and usually when you put latakia with anything it takes over much the same as Gondor does but not in this case the oriental balances it nicely and the parik comes in with a nice bit of um, nice bit of s s slightly sharp spiciness which is very nice very nice indeed yeah an English type of blend I suppose really although questionable, questionable about Virginia Not about that really it's strange that a lot of sites give Virginia is one of the ingredients yet on the tin. It doesn't mention Virginia. The word is not in it. So, I don't know. Some of you experts out there will, will tell me more about it. But no, order, no matter what is in it, it's very, very tasty. Some people give it a strong or very strong. I'd say it was a medium. And we do get the confusion of people smoking Latakia for the first time and saying, oh, that's a really strong tobacco. And when most of us lately lads talk about a strong tobacco, we're talking about the nicotine content. Although it's not a lightweight, it's not got a lot of nicotine content, but there's a good full flavour there. A nice burn rate as well. And it's very satisfying though for what it is. Not bad at all. Just right on a dark cold light, night like this. I've just come in with my lad and we've been out and it's very cold out there. We were on the marshes earlier having a wander. But it's an icy wind coming off the Irish Sea. Very cold, very cold. And there's stormy clouds coming up. We're promised, which is very nice for us, um, a storm tomorrow coming in called Storm Barra. If it's anything like that last one, that oh, I know whatever it was called, I hope it's not as bad as that anyway. Because that really was a, a very nasty, destructive storm, the last one. Did a lot of damage for some people. 
killed a few people as well, I believe, around the country. With trees falling and buildings, walls going over, all sorts. And they've given minus five to, for, to, for tonight. And it's going to be pretty cold. And as we came in, there were some pretty big hailstones coming down. So, just glad to get in by the fire, really, get warm. Anyway, guys, so that's the, that's the nightcap. Which I think is a very nice smoke. You know, this particular tin was given to me kindly by John a while back. And I was given a bit more by Geoffrey. Like I say, the pot and pipe was from Tony, so I'm a very lucky guy that uh, some of you lads out there have very kindly given me things to, to review. Because I get what I can, but I can't afford everything. Or sometimes if I just get a little bowl full of something I've not tried, it's it's always fun to give an opinion on it. Because I'll always be truthful. If I don't like something, I'll tell you. And if I do, which I do usually, I'll tell you it's uh, good. And the trouble is, though, there's so many tobaccos in the world. There's only so many that we see on our internet. There's probably a lot in... Far away places that we've never tried. It'd be lovely to know what everything tasted like, but I suppose that's what, keep, what keeps us alive and makes us get old, really, because we've, we ain't got time to die. We're too busy, too busy trying different tobaccos. There's too many to try. So, we have to keep it smoky. And that's that. Right. Anyway, guys, take care. Speak soon. Thanks for watching.